I said, baby, let's go. I ain't in love, that's for sure. You want some bread, got that dough. Are we gonna party some more? We up and down on that flow. Can you just shake it some more? I got some money to throw. The way you up and down on that pole. I ain't got no reason. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. Of course, you know. It's the great Morgan in the cut. <laughs> you hear me on me? Um, today is kind of an interesting day. I'm outside again, as you can see, because my room is depressing. I mean that there's nothing in there anymore. Yeah, girl. Room empty like what? Alright, boom. So today's video is actually a request. So one of my subscribers or my viewers requested this video that we're gonna do right, right now, right now. So shout out to Agnes. I'm not gonna try to say your last name because I'm gonna butcher it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it to you. But shout out to you. Thank you for requesting this video. Thank you for watching my my YouTube channel. <laughs> so she asked me about uh, making a video of my experience at AIT being a 12 November because she hasn't seen any information about it anywhere. So I'm about to be her savior right now okay my shirt all messed up if you know army regulation yes my sleeves are out of regs they're out of regs i know sorry yeah. but anyway so as you guys know from a previous video or previous videos been watching my channel if you haven't you should go watch those videos right now but as you know i went to AIT and basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. Yeah, the great Fort Lost in the Woods. Woo! Ah, Missouri. Missouri, Fort Lost in the Woods, where it gets hot in the summer and super duper freezing cold in the wintertime, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. The weather is crazy over there. I'll do it to you. The weather is nuts. But anyway, to, act, to answer Agnes's question about AIT at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, or AIT for 12 Novembers, okay? So, AIT for 12 Novembers is one end of the spectrum for one company and the other end of the spectrum for the other company, okay? So, there's two companies for AIT 12 Novembers, right? It is Alpha Company and Delta Company. Okay, so something happened a few years ago, a year ago, two years ago, I don't know how long ago it was, but an accident happened that burnt down the dorm rooms for Alpha Company, right? Because you know in AIT, if you're not an OSET soldier, which means one, one station unit training, or just the basically you do your AIT, they're screaming, hold on. Oh, basically you do your AIT, and your basic training at the same place. So if you're not so MOS that does that, chances are you're gonna go through basic training and then go to AIT and you have dorms and yada yada yada, the whole works. So Alpha Company's dorms had a fire. I don't know what caused the fire, it was before my time, but when I went there, they still didn't rebuild the barracks and still didn't move them into a dorm style barracks. So Alpha Company getting the short end of the stick, they ended up living close by an um, 12 Bravo little area for, for OSIN and AIT. And OSIN drill sergeants are like basic drill sergeants. They are, they are basic drill sergeants. Because you have the same drill sergeants from the day you start the Army until you finish the AIT if you're in OSIN. So, you know, it's kind of hard for them to code switch once you, you get to, to, to black phase. So they just they just don't do it. Oh, and there's two phases in AIT as well. There's black phase and there's gold phase. Black phase, you're just starting AIT. Gold phase, you're about to be out of there. Bye. So yeah, I was an alpha company. Yeah. I was an alpha company. I really have no complaints about alpha per se. You know, the drill sergeants were great. Our chain of command was great. The first sergeant was great. The CO was great. Everybody was just great all around. So I have no complaints about any of that. Um, 
um, I just knew Delta was like a whole different world. People, people had their phones every day. You know, they'll, they have, they have their own privacy in their rooms. They have microwaves, snacks, all types of weird stuff. At Alpha, you can have none of that. Like you gave up your phone every every sun every Monday morning, got it back every Friday night, um, ate at the defect. Like it was, it was basically kind of like basic training, but just like this much more relaxed. Like at Alpha, we still did formation every morning, did formation for every child time, did formation at night. You know, see so yeah, it. So it's like it wasn't really much of a difference between basic and AIT for me, honestly. Whatever. But for those at Delta Company, it was they were just big chilling. They could go to lunch when they feel like it. They could go to the defect when they felt like it. If they didn't want to eat, they could skip chow time. We couldn't do that. Like you know, we had 100% accountability for every formation, and sometimes they would step off without you. But if they found you later, you they would be like, "Yo, bro, what's up? Where was you at, dog? Where was you at?" Um. So yeah, we. Literally, we got marched everywhere still at AIT for Alpha Company. Uh, yeah. And uh, AIT for 12 November is a uh, eight week training thing, I want to say. It's eight weeks. Is it eight weeks? Don't. Okay, I don't remember. I really don't remember. But yeah, so Alpha was still in that little the base um, situation while I was still there. And that was um, fall, winter, 20, 2019. So, yeah, I don't know if it's changed now, but when I was there, we were still doing dorms, still getting martial and still having for me, uh, account accountability formations at like 6 a.m., breakfast time, lunch time, dinner time, and final formation. We're still doing that. Um, Uh, how many machines do we have? A total number, as I said before, operates heavy machinery in the army. Construction engineers, right? So, for every equipment that we use, there was a week of training for that equipment in AIT. Um, half of my 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 AIT was half and half. Um. We did um at my first the first half of my AIT where we did only practical exams. Then the second half something happened with that's like way above anybody's pay grade that's like enlisted or whatever, and they had to switch around the training styles to only they did less practical tests but they did no practical tests at all. They did written tests and only did practice. So we had um for every week like I said, it's one one piece of equipment. So we had uh, dumps loaders. BHL, high X, scrapers, and dozers, and graders. So it's eight weeks. Eight pieces of equipment. Um, and if you don't, you know, pass the test, you get rolled over. So they give you two two tries to pass each test. If you don't pass each, it's the, uh, if you don't pass those, the test, you get rolled. I got rolled in um in at dumps. It's kind of embarrassing, you know. But don't judge me, okay? Stuff happens, all right? So I got rolled at dumps. Um, I knew exactly what to do. I just, I, rush, I was rushing through it. That's one. And I forgot because I was rushing. Like, you know, for the practical test, you have to go step by step by step by step. And you can't miss one step and then go back to, another, to that, go back to the step that you missed for dumps. Because, yeah. By the time you, you, you don't, you skip a step and then you got to go back. An accident could have happened type of stuff it's not that serious but that's what they that's what they kind of yeah mm -hmm. yeah so um dumps was pretty chill other than the fact that i got rolled uh scrapers when i was there this is fall 2020-19 it was one of the best it's the best machine to learn the sergeants there did just make it extremely 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 fun for you to learn still gotta get your work done you still gotta you know what i mean Take the test, pass the test, but they make it just super fun. Um, Lotus was like that for me as well. My my Lotus instructor was extremely cool. Shout out! I'm not I'm not gonna say his name just in case he doesn't want to be you know all over the internet or whatever. But shout out to you, boss. Um, yeah. So you get up in the morning, 
at four. Was it four? Yeah, we got up at four a.m. and we had PT. Then after PT, we went to Chow Breakfast Chow. Then after Breakfast Chow, you had like a half hour, forty five minutes at most to get ready and get out of it. Yeah, get ready and go to training, right? The army is about hurry up and wait. Being it, the army is honestly a job that you just hurry up and wait. So you, we didn't have to be that early every day, but it is what it is. So we got on the um, we got on our, our transportation to go to, to training to course they call it call it course. So we got on our um the bus to go to course at like 7:45, 8 ish. We got to course. We chilled for a little bit and then started training at nine o'clock. All right, and then you train. Then at 11, sometimes 10.30, you break for, for um, lunch chow, and you go to the DFAT. Um, depending on the type of training that you're doing that week, or if they want to try to get everything done um, in a timely manner, sometimes they just they just cancel out the DFAT, and you get um, MREs. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, you know, but the DFACs, compared to basic training defects, slap. You get ice cream all the time, the food selection is great, you can eat as much as you want. So, yeah, you can take as many Nutri- you can eat as many Nutri-Grain bars as you want. If you're in the military, you know what a Nutri-Grain bar is. Okay. But you can eat as many as you want, and basic training is only one. Um, so the defect in AIT definitely slaps. Definitely slaps. Definitely, definitely slaps. But as I was saying, if they're trying to condense their schedule a little bit, you um get MREs, and so they have this thing called the dump tr- the, the the gut truck, right? You get all your snacks and lickies and chewies, all of that. They call it a gut truck because it gives you a gut. Every post has a gut truck, and um depending on if you get to use the gut truck, it's up to as a trainee. Depending on it depends on your sergeant or your the people that are training you if you get to use the, the um the gut the gut truck or not. So we use the gut truck for a few of our our training um, our tr- our training weeks. The gut truck slapped though, no cap. If you're at Fort Leonard Wood and you get the chance to use the dump the, the gut truck, try a cheeseburger with hot sauce. I'll put you on. Yeah, yeah. But um, the, I think is is great as dozers. You don't get to use the um, the gut truck. Because the dozer phase, the training areas are just so far apart from each other. Like one is here, and then one is up there, and then one is all the way back there. So by the time she or he, you know, drives all that way, it's an hour already. And some people might not get the gut the gut truck. Other people might get the gut truck. So for dozers, they're just like, all right, dub. There's no gut truck. Um, but when the gut truck does come, it's amazing. Like it is amazing. You get to eat a lot more than you normally would. You get to eat whatever it is that you want to eat. They don't let you drink energy drinks though in AIT. There's no Red Bull, no Monster, none of that stuff because they had an incident way before my time and they just cut it out. They just like, yo, y'all, it's a dub. Bump that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, um, the training day usually ends around 3.30. Four o'clock, so that's thirteen fifty. I mean thirteen thirty. Thirteen. Thirteen is one, bro. Where is your military bearing, bro? Fifteen thirty or sixteen hundred? And um Yeah. You leave training, you leave um you leave course, you go back to the, the barracks. Um depending on how your drill sergeant is. Cause they have drill sergeants for the, the um the platoons, not not regular sergeants for your platoon. So depending on how your drill sergeant is, either you get the rest of the day to just chill, or it's the evening to just chill, or y'all do some workout or something. Um, the workout helps, so don't don't be like all sad and stuff. Going for a run in boots and all of that stuff, it helps. Like it, it really helps. So yeah. Um, hmm. what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, try not to get rolled. If you get rolled, you're gonna be waiting for like at least a week, two weeks, and um, you just be on details every single day. Like, 
Sergeant Major needs his his the, the yard around his office cleaned or the yard around his the the, the area around his his building cleaned you're gonna go clean it um stuff like that they need old guards or whatever they call you they need some like they do a lot of details when you're a holdover they call it a holdover do a lot of a lot of details oh um, I feel like I'm talking to circles but what else so I was I think I was a holdover for like I wasn't a holdover for that long Ooh, there we go I wasn't a holdover for, for, for that long was I yeah, because I, I told you guys I, I, I rolled dumps okay, so I was a holdover for maybe three weeks I think which is not that bad because people have been holdovers for three four five six months like literally I've seen it so don't get rolled for whatever reason it is don't don't do it um, what else? Well, AIT, like, just like basic training or being a soldier, period. Just don't do anything stupid, um, especially as a trainee, because uh, consequences are greater than they would be if you did it as a regular soldier, I think. It probably wouldn't be. But consequences are consequences. So just don't do nothing dumb. Um, oh, and you also go on pass in AIT. You get weekend passes. If, if there's a four-day weekend, you get a pass for four days. So, not like a consecutive four-day pass, but you get a pass every single day for those four days. So, you can, you know, go out and just chill. But after a while, it gets boring because you're doing the same thing every weekend. You know, either you're, you're going to the PX to hang out or you're going to the USO or you're going to the park. If it's too hot, you can't go to the park. If, I mean, if it's too cold, you can't go to the park. Because let me tell you. Missouri winners are brutal, bro. Me and my battles, we like we used pastime as a as a way to like bond with each other type stuff. Like we would walk. We we didn't we didn't take you could take a cab or whatever to go to the PX or whatever, but we just walked. Every like we walked there, we walked back. Everywhere we went, we walked just to you know bond with each other a little bit more. And it was dope. It was dope. So I mean, you're probably gonna hear this every single like er, in every aspect of being in the military the the where you are like your duty station or whatever your training station it is what you make it so for me and my battles we found each other and we were just just having fun with each other and you know being the best buds that we could be um i literally still talk to my battles from ait right now just to show you how how close we were you know so yeah what else i have to say about ait um Somebody smoking a cigarette. Oh. I think that's it. Yeah, that might be it. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey, thank you for watching. Can I love you, baby? Now ain't that the question? How we gonna roll together without no direction? You say you love me, love me, feeling my affection. But then you'd rather play it safe, girl, and be my best friend. If you my best friend, why you stop the text in? Just because you got a man, don't mean you flexing. I done caught a couple chicks and learned my lesson. That's why I keep praying every day and counting blessings.